Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Liberated. Last time we were playing as old man here and we got ourselves a new gun and we're going to continue investigating this rebel base, I guess. Or the Empire, something like that. I don't know, we're, we're bad people. <laughs> we're just kind of walking and killing these people. I mean, they have been killing us too, but I imagine we're probably on the wrong side of this uh, particular engagement. If I had to take a guess, we're probably the assholes. Hooray for being the assholes. That's what everybody always wants to be. Okay. So we have to dive, it looks like. Hopefully our old man doesn't cough up a lung again. Like he did last time. He was bleeding all over the place. Yes, hello. I am here to shoot bang. No, you don't. You see, it's unfortunate for you because I could see you behind that wall because of what the world gave me with my camera. My camera is just better than yours. You see, your, your, your eyes just see what's in front of you. My eyes see everything that's in front of- the only blind spot I have is what's behind me. Well, like, and, and I mean like behind my character model on like the 2D plane, not behind me. I can see behind me too. I have all kinds of vision. Are we seriously gonna... Yep, climb up the cord. This is safe. Oh boy. Oh jeez, oh jeez, this is bad. Uh, we gotta reload. Reload that faster, you old bastard. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the reload was so slow. Okay, maybe we should be a bit safer here. They kind of popped out like immediately though. Don't shoot. Aha! I'm outside your range, but you are not outside of mine. <laughs> well, that worked out. I should have done that last time. And hop. Yep, that particular little encounter definitely got me like- whoop! I'll shoot you in the leg. I don't care. Get in cover. Oh, we can't. Never mind. It's weird that you can only do that on some spots. Like, it's not all spots. Very odd, if you ask me. Are you dead, or are you another hard drive? Probably another hard drive. Yep. Oh, I missed one. Show your civic spirit. To encourage the best in all of us, the citizen bonus scheme will soon go into effect to celebrate good deeds and charitable acts. Community service, recycling, blood donation, and more will be actively rewarded with special merit points. Collect enough and you'll be able to exchange them for special privileges, inclu including career fast tracking, public transport discounts, and even free cinema tickets. Uh, can I scroll this, please? There we go. The citizen bonus system introduced last year has proven highly successful in encouraging the best in all of us. Now, however, it will go both ways. In addition to gaining points and benefits for good deeds, you can expect to lose points for things like littering, smoking in public, and of course, committing crimes and antisocial acts. I'm fine with losing points for littering, but smoking in public seems kind of against people's rights, even though I hate smoking. Like, I, I can't stand the smell of smoke. I don't hate people that smoke, I just... I've always, like, smoke, the smell of it messes my nose up. So I personally can't stand it, but smoking in public is kind of somebody's right, as long as it's not in, like, a hospital or restaurants now. But antisocial acts? Come on. Source note to self, error loading data, meeting to analyze identity forgery opportunities in the CCS based on Barry's experience. Okay. So, are we supposed to take a leap of faith here? That would have hurt a lot. That was, that was quite the drop. I don't know if it would have hurt so much that it would have actually harmed him, but it definitely would have hurt. I need to get up. I'm going to die. Where are we supposed to be going right now? I'm not honestly too sure. Is there a door of some sort down here? There is. Aha! I will go through the vent. Don't choke, old man. Don't choke. There we go. Your lungs can't take it. 
Um, let's get our gun back out. Okay, there's nothing. I always think we're gonna mess with those, like, electric boxes. Because electrical boxes and, like, circuits and stuff are usually something you mess with a lot in games, but... This electrical box we don't really mess with. Like, one of the most popular puzzles in games, I swear, is an electric box having a blown fuse and you gotta replace it with a fuse by going to find it somewhere else. That's a, especially in survival horror, like Resident Evil and stuff, they love blown fuses. Yeah, yeah, you're choking, I get it, I get it. Just get, get up there. Ooh, your body's all crazy because we're in the water and the screen's vignetting. That was weird. It's a good thing these guys made their, um, rebel base in the water temple, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get through this area. Just being able to change the water levels is so useful. Right in the back of the head. What's in here? Oh jeez, that's a f drop. Hi! Ugh! Ugh! Okay, yeah, that was bad. Alright, I'll be the first to admit that one was, uh, not great. Here we go. But now I know they're down there. I kinda just... Whoa! Well, you got something to say? This guy's really spazzing his light out on me. Okay, that worked out. I just got a head headshot on both of them immediately. Good. And up we go. That doesn't seem safe. That's just shimmy instead. To dodge the fire and the steam. I think those like holes right there would be getting damaged by that steam constantly blowing on them all the time. But what do I know? I'm not a architect. What the hell? How the hell did you even see me? You're on like a different floor. How's that even possible? Okay, so it wants us to notice that that is over here. Goodbye, sir. And you. Let's just slowly back up. There we go. You couldn't shoot me, but I sure could shoot you. Ooh, I thought he wasn't going to grab that ledge for a second. Oh, these are going to be much easier to take out now. Never mind. Instead, I'll just get my ass kicked. Okay, my character wasn't responding there for a second. He just kind of ran off. Weird. Alright, not as clean as last time. Now, what are you going to do if I just shoot a bunch? Those seekers kind of coming out there really screwed me up. How am I supposed to deal with all of those? Alright, I think that guy's dead. Yeah, I think I got him. No? No, I didn't. Really, I'm not hitting him. Alright, let's just let's just make a run for it. Screw the seekers. Ugh. Okay, we're, we're too far away for that to hit us, I think. So I think we can just kind of snipe it now. There we go. Okay, so that was the solution there. Just kind of run away from the Seekers. Because those things hurt. There's still one more, though. Okay, any more? Oh! Alright. Not that much of an issue. They're definitely easier now that I have something better than a pistol. Can't make that jump, right? No. Okay. Well, the fan's turned off now. Oh, hi. Sorry, gun wasn't drawn. Now it is, though. Sorry about it, sir. It's a good thing my characters can take hits. And what do we got over here? Is this what we came in here for? 
vermin, scurrying in the darkness, spreading your disease, death will find you. Gas! It's fucking gas! Everyone out, now! Oh, they're getting gassed. There is no escape. The earth will be cleansed of your kind. Your pestilence ends here. Boy. <clears throat> That's rough. That's rough. There's a lot of murder, uh... There's a lot of murder happening in this game. <laughs> Not sure what I expected. St. Martha's Primary School. Yeah, I'm guessing there was like a school shooting or something here. Oh no, it was a bombing. Oh jeez. An explosion at St. Martha's School. Reports are still coming in, but first responders have confirmed there are casualties among the, across the site, including several children. This is what I've been saying all along, Bob. Terrorism is the challenge of our times. I don't know about you, but I don't mind sacrificing a few liberties if it means our children can grow up in a world that's safe. Chet's absolutely right. If the authorities don't have the power to fight back, how are they going to protect us? Until the authorities decide that they don't want to protect you, and would rather look into their own interests. We want safety! Mr. Jeffrey Stroud. Mark my words, lady and gentlemen, we will hunt these monsters down. It's time we put our petty squabbles aside. Time we build a safe, prosperous future for us all. I'm imagining this is the turning point for introducing all of this surveillance, as they've mentioned. It always starts with a nice just cause like that, but then somewhere down the line the government realizes they could use that for their own benefits and needs. And they're like, hey, where's Harry? Called and said he's running late. Something to do with his kids, you know how it is. Eh, same old Harry. We're about to get chewed out by the man who signs our paycheck and he's running errands. There he is. Sorry to keep you waiting, fellas. The minister will see you now. Good luck, gentlemen. Come in, gentlemen, please. Take a seat. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? We need to nip this terrorism thing in the bud. Now, I've brought you here to ask you to head up a special task force, the sole purpose of which will be to root out dissent and dissatisfaction wherever they may be. You boys are the best of the best, our nation's finest, beloved by the media, trusted by the communities, more importantly, trusted by me. I know, as a matter of fact, they can count on your discretion. Gentlemen, what do you think it is we lack in this fight? I'll tell you, information. It's not that the data isn't there. Every single bank, social network, surveillance center, and insurance company this side of the Mississippi is sat on a veritable treasure trove of information. What we need is to bring it all together. If we're to stay ahead of these terrorists, we'll need to know more than them. Now, I do expect there will be some resistance, but no law-abiding citizen has anything to fear. Someday they'll be writing speeches about the work you fine gentlemen are about to do. I want you to supervise the creation of the world's most sophisticated police database. I expect it to be capable of predicting crime before it even happens. We've already got the banks and tech giants on board. They're eager to play ball. Over the moon, in fact. This will give them a chance to understand their customers better. Every, and I mean every, bit of information matters. Hell, I want to know if a flea shits in Florida if it helps, keep us, uh, helps us keep this country safe. If someone buys a bus ticket or takes a cab, we should know where they're going, what they're doing, and if it's legal. This is so messed up. Just knowing everything about everybody at all times and having no privacy whatsoever anymore. All for the sake of keeping you protected? When we've already seen that cops, sometimes they're not out to protect you. Sometimes they can be violent. Sometimes they can be brutal. So them having all of this stuff, how long does it take until the government and police use this for their own agenda? This would never work. To make sure it's traceable, cash payments for those services can be phased out. If someone's purchase history shows they have an unhealthy diet, we can automatically assign them to a high-risk pool and increase their insurance premiums accordingly. Hell, we can even tax their damn diabetes. Okay, now you're just getting really fucked up. 
Now you're gonna increase insurance premiums and... Oh boy. If someone isn't posting pictures on social media, we need to know what they're hiding. Maybe they're a pervert, a terrorist, or maybe just some misanthrope who has a chip on their shoulder. Wow, fuck this guy. Good citizens must be rewarded, bad ones eliminated. Another tragedy like St. Martha's cannot be allowed to happen ever again. What, next you're gonna start talking about eugenics and cleansing the gene pool of people who have depression? Gentlemen, we are to blame for the deaths of those children. That tragedy rests on our shoulders, but together we can atone for our sins. We must dedicate our lives to ensuring that the future of the nation is one of security and prosperity. How about you get to the root cause of the problem and why someone would do that rather than just... ...spying on everybody to make sure this never happens again? Why don't you instead put things in the place to help people like this and generally just create a better society? <sighs> I sigh. What the hell just happened? Looks like we got a promotion, fellas. How are we gonna pull this off? Mass surveillance is one thing, but this... This is our job, Chang. We all join the force to keep people safe. Can't hurt to have all that information at our fingertips. But where do we draw the line? We're talking about people's whole lives here. You got a better idea, Chang? At least the way... this way will always be a step ahead. About damn time as well. I'm sick and tired of perps having to jump on us. Think about it. No more putting assholes back on the street just because we don't have the evidence to pin a cr pin a crime on them. Oh jeez, hiccups. Not now, I'm recording. You really don't have a problem with all this? You heard the minister. Honest people have nothing to fear. But criminals, they always have something to hide. And we'll be there to catch them red-handed. What jury's gonna doubt proof like that? I guess I'm getting too old for this shit. Maybe I should retire. Retire? Huh, <laughs> give me a break. That badge means everything to you. What would you even do, Chang? Go fishing? Work in your son's store? Who knows? Maybe. Wow. I mean, at least they're kind of pointing out the problems with it, but it also seems like they're just going with it. Anyway. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> this little piggy should have stayed home. Okay, here we are. Oh, jeez. Okay, good. Yeah, that's that's good. I pressed A instead of X. Oh man, it's gonna make us let the police chief win, but I didn't but I didn't get a second shot on my other thing. That sucks. Oh well. <clears throat> this is a required victory, but saving my main character wasn't. Cap, are you there? Cap, come in, you need to get out of there. Yeah, yeah, we're getting out of here. What happened to this whole smoke thing? Was that just to knock us out? And then they were gonna, like, capture us or something? What was the deal with that? I thought it was gonna be, like, actual poison gas. Oh, now we're gonna shimmy across... ...on the wires. He's shimmying pretty fast, but this wire is just, like, super, super long, in all honesty. It's gonna take us forever to get to the other side. And we're there. Well, we can only go left and right, so I guess we gotta drop down here. And yep, now we gotta grab onto these. He looked like he was gonna fall to his death there for a second. I was a little worried, but it's fine. We made it out okay. Just do the shimmy. Oh! Okay, that was weird. Oh! No! Drop! Drop, damn you. There we go. Maybe you should have had your gun drawn like you 
you know I'm in here, right? <gasps> wow, I pulled my gun out when I wasn't even out of my, like, getting up animation. <laughs> Crazy. Old man's got moves. I'll give him that. Okay, let's get that headshot level. There we go. Should be able to... Yep, there we go. Let's make that jump. Alright, is there anything over here? Oh, that was just a hidey spot? Okay, so we must have to go down here. Damn. Huh, it sucks, like, those particular moments because you can't actually see what's down there. So it's kind of hard to prepare. It's very hard to prepare, in fact. So I guess let's just shoot down there and... Did I get him? All right, now let's check the other side. All right, I did it. Did that help at all? Okay, I killed one, so that did work out. Okay, maybe I should start doing that more often because we can't really pan the screen down to kind of look down there to get a, a view before we actually just make the drop. So I think I'm just gonna start kind of wildly spraying before I make a drop like that now. I'll try to remember to do it. Alrighty. Hello? Okay, there's nothing. Just another drop. More scaffolding. Uh, no. I don't want to climb that. I'm gonna go over here. Somebody drained the water. Good old water temple. Um... Things sound pretty hairy over here. C Cap, come in. You need to get out of there. Yeah, no. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should run. Okay, I should have ran. I, sh I should have ran. Okay, got it. Just keep running. All right, now just keep running. Okay, now just keep running. Why is this thing collapsing anyway? This guy can run. Okay, no, don't reload the gun. Just, just keep sprinting, please. We don't even have an ammo count on screen, so I wouldn't even know if I was about out of ammo anyway. Cap, get out of there. I'm trying, damn it. Oh, jeez, okay, it's still exploding. Got it, got it, got it. The more you know, okay. Hey, man, what? Well, look, look now you got us both killed. You think these people wouldn't actually stop to try and fight me? Like, your life's on the line here too, dude. Just run. <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay, geez, this part's hard. Or at least I'm having difficulty with it. Okay, now just go. Jesus. Feels like you absolutely 100% need to headshot this guy, or it's just not happening. Because you lose too much time by, like, spraying at him. Jump. Climb. Go. Okay, I barely made it. No, keep running. Until we see a person. Okay, that was perfect. We need more of that. Nope. Don't you guys realize this shit's caving in? Okay, that wasn't actually a death. Good. I was scared for a second. Cap, are you there? Sir, are you alive? Yeah, I'm still in one piece. Huh, oh, yeah, I was worried there. We got them, the fucking animals. A few of them, at least. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. So some of them got captured. I imagine they're going to get tortured now. And that's the end of issue two. Liberated. Now we're on to three.
Okay. Well, we have a few more minutes. We can go ahead and hop into the next one, I guess. Serve and protect, but there's blood on the badge. Yup. Sounds about right. Okay. Black Diamond. News of yesterday's attack on a military training facility in the desert. Following a heroic defense of the compound by the police, the terrorist cell responsible was eliminated. Wow, they're just straight up lying. We have also received reports that the terrorists behind the St. Martha School tragedy have been captured. Now they're gonna pin that on them as well. This is some dirty shit. Oh, that's the pastor guy. We're we gonna see him getting tortured now. Ow. Yeah, this is beyond simple torture. Okay, now we're getting into the torture part. Yeah, when you start getting out those sh fucking tools, yeah. Yep, and you're gonna drill his knee or whatever. Or his hand. Wow, this is super fucked up. Enough. What was it, huh? The kids, the principal? Or was it all some sick little game to you? Wow, this is... this is a messed up scenario! Seeing people tortured is never fun. Whatever it was, we'll find out. It's just a matter of time. I can't keep this up all night, old man. And when you break, we can start working on that public confession of yours. Save yourself the agony, Tom. This can all end if you just give us some names. I've seen before that, like, torture techniques don't actually work because usually when someone's being tortured, even if they don't know the thing, they're going to tell you something, and usually it might be a lie. And, like, they're hysteric and everything, so they might not even remember correctly. Oh, yeah, he's... Tied up, bound. No? That's a shame. We could have helped each other out here. I'll be back tomorrow to see if you come to your senses. Yeah, way to extract a confession from a guy that didn't even do it. Big strong man. Mary, Lynn, Olivia, William, Jacob. Emma, Charles, George, Anna. Good, now. They... They were my responsibility. They trusted me to keep them safe. They had their whole lives ahead of them, people who loved them. They were innocent children. You murdered them, and for what? Money? Power? Goodbye, Tom. May God have mercy on your soul. Or like, may God have mercy on yours, you torturous fucker. You're going to hell, too. You're going to be sitting right next to each other. Alrighty. Had to go and do something. We got some people playing basketball. Somebody reading a book. A couple, possibly. Uh, and is this where he worked? Did he actually work at the school? Yep. Oh, jeez. Was he the... Huh. He must have just saw the explosion while looking out the window. I was gonna say, was he the source of the explosion? Like, was him answering the call the trigger, but... No. Yeah, you guys scared now? Huh? What's going on here? Cap! 
Cap, can you hear me? Come in. We're getting reports of gunfire and explosions. They're everywhere. We need to get to the crisis management center immediately. Can one of those rocks just take him in the head? What the hell? There are charges set throughout the building. Impossible! They must have had someone on the inside. Indeed we did. Indeed we did. Cap, I can see you on the Crisis Center live feed. I'll guide you as far as I can. Hurry! Hop up ahead. Okay. Two are heading for the door. Hi, it's sometimes better to avoid a fight. Uh, okay. I mean, I could have just shot them. Oh, but they have gear. That would have been harder. Let's just take you out, why don't we? Here we go. He doesn't even know his buddy's gone. Oh, we don't have our cool gun anymore. Damn it. Now we're back to our shitty pistol. At least two were coming your way. Okay. I thought I was getting the headshots there. I wasn't. I should have listened to what it told me earlier and just hit. That was me just being cocky. Alright, so... Whoop. Oh jeez. Okay, well that worked out, because the other- the third one didn't actually come over here. Alright, taken care of. There's one hidden in the elevator, I see him. Cool. Did we get in the elevator? No? Okay. Oh, we were just supposed to go to that door. Any more? Doesn't seem like it. This is like an archive room, it looks like. One behind a closet up ahead. You're not gonna pop out, huh? Yep. Well, now you're dead. This music that's playing is pretty good. I quite like it. Damn it! They blew up the stairwell. You have to go around the side of the building. They're coming through the parking lot. Hurry, Cap. You gotta get here quick. If any of you guys were, like, half as useful as me, this could probably be contained. Apparently this family, if this is our character that died's father, apparently this family is just like, sick badasses? They're calling him Cap though, so I don't think that is actually our main characters, because I'm pretty sure they said it was like, Secretary of Defense. That's who, uh, there he was. Uh, I thought they had the same name though, so it might be. Oh boy. That was close. I'm glad I actually pressed the right button that time. I always wondered how people that do this have the upper arm strength for this. I would just fall. Straight up. Plus it's raining too, so you gotta assume this is slick. Like, how can they possibly handle this? Jump! Oh, okay, I didn't know we were going for the wire there, actually. Oh well, it seems like it worked out. Okay enough. Climb, 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 swing, 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 shimmy, shimmy. And down we go. Seems like the frame rate takes a bit of a hit when it's raining. Unfortunate. Might just be crazy though. Yeah, the frame rate definitely feels more stable in here. I think it does take a hit due to the rain. Oh shit. Yeah, you had a helmet. Okay. Well, now I know. I could have just stealth killed you actually. I probably should have done that been a lot safer. Hostile in the next room. Somebody I can sneak? No. Okay, it is somebody I can just headshot once, though. I can finish them off. So that's fine. There's one heading for the door. Uh, okay. I was hiding because I thought there was another one, but that was just a uh, flashlight. Not that big a deal. Two more coming. Oh jeez. Yep, yep. I got lit up. 
I should have hid once again. All right, let's get right there. I wonder if you hide on the other side if they can see you and they walk by. You see nothing. All right, let's go. Here we go. Behind you. Oh shit. All right, that was taken care of pretty easily. It's good things these guys don't move into the areas I can't reach, like outside of my. Oh shit. I thought I was sneaking there. I wasn't. And also, I didn't shoot him in the head, so that did, that worked out very poorly. Oh god. Ugh. Okay. We're good. So shooting those guys in the chest does not work. You can't seem to kill them with the full pistol clip if you just shoot them in the chest. So that just doesn't work out. Those guys are super simple, though. Yeah. Take that. Okay, but this guy... I think shooting him is probably the best call. There we go. I tried to sneak up on him and he turned around and saw me, so... It's like we're gonna have to go down a floor. Hello? We're loading, I guess. Yep, it's taking his time. Okay, there we go. And I can't aim up, aim this shot. There we go. That was rough. Careful, Cap. There aren't many cameras on this floor, so stay alert. Oh, geez. All right, I'll try. I'm not doing a very good job of it so far. Incoming, they're wearing bulletproof vests. Okay. It's gonna take you out, you know. There we go. Just in case. Anybody else hiding over here? No. Two by the vending machines. There we go. Two? I only see one. Where's the second guy at? Aha. There he was. Okay. Now we just go downstairs. I'm guessing we're just trying to escape the building. They're here. They blew through a wall in the basement. Shit, they must have had blueprints. We're surrounded. Oh, I'm hit, Cap. It was an honor. Well, I guess we gotta make our way over there. That was almost bad. Oh, jeez. Yep. Okay, that was my bad. <laughs> I saw the door opening, so I started firing, and then I had to reload. Alright, so now we're on our own. He won't call stuff out for us anymore. That was kind of a cool mechanic. I actually like that. So, sad to see it go. Damn, his bulletproof vest kept him alive. It's just aiming for the head in the moment is so hard for me. I have to be able to line it up. Coming. Okay, I just got him immediately. Good. Let's go ahead and reload that gun again. There's nowhere for me to hide here, so... Man. Because those guys are rough. Where am I supposed to hide, though, from them? I don't see very many hiding spots in here. Okay, let's just take time to load here. There we go. Alright, let's let's just maintain as much distance from them as we can. Okay, that helps. Just, just kind of keeping my distance was definitely the best way to go about that. No, you don't. I worked too hard to get here, damn it. Go! Oh, jeez. 
Okay, I'm glad he reloaded that gun quickly. That was gonna be bad if he hadn't reloaded as fast as he did. Oh, jeez. Just run. Later, nerd. Okay, this is some risky business I'm doing. Ugh. Okay, just keep going. Just keep going. He can't chase me forever, right? Okay. I think I've successfully escaped that one dude that was chasing me. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. That was rough. I was kind of just running from that guy forever, and he was chasing me into every room. And I think that was him. He finally found me again. Alrighty. Let's go. Up the stairs. Kind of trying to find a good moment to end this episode off, but... There's not really one, so I'm kind of just going. But, oh well, I guess I guess we're gonna have a bit of a longer episode of this. I might just have to cut it at some point, because who knows how long this level will actually last. That was taken care of. I want my SMG back, damn it. And or my assault rifle. Aw. Uh, I was thinking maybe the exit maybe we were about to get out, but no. Uh, well, here we go. Maybe this door is a good spot to stop. Yeah, let's go ahead and end things off here. This seems like a good spot, and this episode is at 42 minutes right now, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Liberated, and I will see you next time.